This is a study that was conducted by the LUGPA Benchmarking Committee, which is a group of uh, eight urologists who came together really with a desire to better understand their own practice patterns and how they compare with their peers. The interest in looking at the primary management of prostate cancer patients really sprang out of a lot of different things, but they included a concern that there was a perception of overtreatment or aggressive management of prostate cancer patients, as well as a report showing that physicians are often slow to adopt new evidence-based guidelines. Finally, that reported rates of active surveillance in the literature were quite low you know, in the order of 20% in a historical series and up as high as 49% in papers we published last year. So retrospective analysis, uh, looking at 1,401 patients uh, diagnosed with prostate cancer in 2013 and early 2014, and active surveillance uh, was the initial management choice for 71% of men with very low risk disease, 40% of men with low risk disease, and 8% of men with intermediate risk disease. The Utilization of surgery and radiotherapy, the two curative treatments, was low for very low risk men at 11 and 12 percent, and then increased to 43 and 34 percent, respectively, for men with intermediate risk disease. Essentially, what we see is, is a very high rate of active surveillance adoption among community urology practices, and we see appropriate trends in that the use of active surveillance decreases as disease severity increases and the use of curative therapies increases with increasing disease severity.